Bill Gates has been caught targeting young people and children in a dystopian preparedness exercise called Catastrophic Contagion. Gates is trying desperately to stop any information about this disturbing summit from leaking out to the public. But unfortunately for him, there are now too many brave people determined to expose his evil to the world. Thanks to the brave whistleblowers, we have got all the information you need about Catastrophic Contagion. But first, let's take a look at Gates's form when it comes to what he calls preparedness exercises. Remember Event 201, a preparedness exercise featuring a coronavirus pandemic conducted in October 2019 under the auspices of World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and involving the usual suspects including the World Health Organization, China's CDC, Anthony Fauci and others. The timing was exquisite, and the COVID-19 pandemic started within weeks of the exercise and went on just as they predicted it would. The globalist elite were in heaven. The World Economic Forum could not resist gloating about the situation, seeing praises of brutally efficient lockdowns. The average person was terrified into submissive compliance by mainstream media, who shamelessly served as handmaidens for the elite. We were locked down, punished, made ill, injected and impoverished. The economic consequences for everyday people have been disastrous and are continuing to mount. In case you doubt that the elite are happy about this, take a look at the size of Bill Gates' psychopathic smile when CNN host Fareed Zakaria says the economy is going to take a long time to recover. The economy is not going to be anything like uh, it was. It's going to take a long time to recover. It's going to be, you know, people are going to be surprised at how slow and how, how fitful this uh, it was. It's going to take a long time to recover. Of course, the rich got richer, the elites are now more elite than ever before. And of course, the elites themselves did not have to suffer through the punishing lockdowns. The World Health Organization and the World Economic Forum are both based in Switzerland, which happened to be one of the few countries that did not enforce lockdowns or mask mandates. It's one rule for thee and another for me. Considering what humanity has been forced to go through these past few years, it's imperative that we keep a very close eye on the actions of those who profited from the pandemic. In particular, you should be aware that Bill Gates just conducted another exercise aptly called Catastrophic Contagion on October the 23rd, 2022. Bill himself showed up to conduct the tabletop exercise with luminaries from the world of biosecurity and global health, including 10 current and former health ministers and senior health officials from a variety of WEF infiltrated countries, including Germany, Singapore and India. What was Catastrophic Contagion planning? It was planning a severe pandemic worse than COVID-19, targeting young people and kids. According to Gates, the lessons learned strongly lean towards a much stronger stance against so-called misinformation than during the COVID-19 pandemic. How does this play out in the real world? It means there will be even more censorship and suppression of free speech when the next pandemic is rolled out. After all, during this pandemic, COVID skeptics won out, which is not acceptable to Bill Gates. Despite having the weight of the mainstream media and global autocratic control infrastructure stacked against us, we managed to prevail by refusing to be bullied and silenced by their authoritarian tactics. So Bill Gates is planning the next catastrophic contagion pandemic, which will kill much younger people and where there'll be much more misinformation controls. According to Gates, countries must prioritise efforts to increase trust in government and public health. If you're wondering what that looks like, take a look at WEF infiltrated New Zealand, where left-wing authoritarian Jacinda Ardern is taking her cues directly from Klaus Schwab's playbook. The government is your single source of truth, according to Arden, who claims that unless you hear it from us, it's not truth. We will continue to be your single source of truth. We will provide information frequently. We will share everything we can, uh, everything you are, else you see, um, a grain of salt. That would be the same Jacinda Ardern who bragged that she had a direct access to Facebook's censorship portal. It makes sense that the global elite are determined to crack down even harder on free speech. Bill Gates and his partners realised that with COVID sceptics winning the battle and taking over entire social networks, the future battles against misinformation will need to involve much heavier weaponry. Here is Bill Gates speaking at his catastrophic contagion event. He was careful to ensure that there is no record of what he was saying. Gates now understands that we are onto him. Let's face it, 
There are just too many coincidences when it comes to Gates to allow him to work away quietly in the shadows without watching him closely. He has an uncanny ability to foresee future pandemics. In addition to preparing for the COVID-19 pandemic via Event 201, he also conducted a monkeypox preparedness exercise in 2021 that predicted the emergence of monkeypox down to the exact month when it emerged. Bill Gates is a brilliant investor, on a par with Nancy Pelosi. He purchased equity in a barely known biotech startup called BioNTech just two months before the COVID-19 pandemic started and made well over a billion dollars. Remember, BioNTech supplies the Pfizer COVID vaccine, despite having never worked on vaccines before the pandemic. The timing of his investment shows his exemplary foresight. One has to wonder, what did Bill know? So, I recommend listening closely when Bill Gates predicts a future pandemic. He knows something we might not be aware of, and he can't help gloating about the next one. You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That, you know, I'd say is... uh will get attention this time. Mm -hmm. As the world continues to wake up to the crimes of the globalist elite and the public mood worsens, the elites are floating the idea of a COVID amnesty for the elite decision makers who ruined millions of lives by enforcing draconian lockdowns, masks on children and barbaric vaccine mandates. According to a viral Atlantic article, the elites, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, Bill Gates and Joe Biden, to name a few, should be given a free pass and granted amnesty against prosecution as more and more evidence of their malpractice and outright criminality continues to surface. It sounds like the elite are aware the damn wall is about to burst and their pandemic crimes are about to be exposed to the mainstream. And the elite are rightly terrified of the masses wising up, waking up, and rising up against them. Given all that we've been through in recent years, are we really expected to grant a pardon to the elite who, over and over, proved themselves to be incompetent at best and in many cases, outright tyrants? Absolutely not. Are we expected to erase the record of those responsible for leaving sick children to waste away in hospital all alone, for separating husband from wife, from stopping families from holding the hands of the dying or gathering for their funerals? No, no, and again, no. After mandates forced people out of jobs, destroying livelihoods and lives, and the vaccine turned therapeutic, was exposed as failing to stop transmission, are we really expected to stop asking about its potential side effects or the relationship between big pharma companies and the FDA? Are we really to let bygones be bygones for masking and lockdowns that will set students back for a decade, that shuttered businesses across the country, that multiplied deaths of despair? We must remain vigilant and keep our eye on what the globalist elite are up to. Given their duplicity, this is not an easy task and requires an army of truth seekers. Here at The People's Voice, we hope to continue playing our part in educating the masses about what's really happening in the world. But we need your help. If you value our work, please subscribe to this channel and spread this video far and wide. We need to reach as many people as we can before it's too late.